Do you ever wonder if some people go straight to hell right after they die? Well, Our Lady recently appeared and revealed something truly shocking. She shared that eight Catholics will be sent to hell immediately after their deaths because of the choices they made during their lives. These people, despite being Catholics, made such serious mistakes that there is no chance for redemption when they pass away. It's frightening to think that even those who follow the faith can end up in hell if they stray too far from what is right. Our Lady's warning couldn't be clearer. The choices we make in life have real and lasting consequences in the afterlife. And the people she spoke about aren't strangers or people we don't know. They could be famous people we've heard of or even people we see daily friends, family members, or co-workers. Our Lady told a story about eight individuals who, because of their actions, will be cast into hell once they die. These aren't distant or unknown figures they might be people in your life, or public figures you admire from afar. This message is a powerful reminder that no one is immune from judgment, no matter their status or how familiar they are to us. Our Lady's story is a warning for all of us to be mindful of how we live our lives and the choices we make. Every action has a consequence, and even those who seem close to us can face a terrifying fate if they don't follow the right path. Her words are a call to pay attention and make sure that we are living in a way that leads to salvation, not damnation. Please, could you help spread the word about this video by sharing it with as many people as you can and subscribing to our channel? We hope that this message touches your heart and brings you closer to understanding the importance of soulful conversations and helping others turn away from sin. If you agree, please type. Amen. Your support means a lot to us. It was a peaceful evening when Our Lady appeared. Her voice was soft, but her words carried a heavy warning. She spoke of eight souls, each burdened by the weight of their sins, who would soon be sent to hell. These weren't just random strangers or distant faces. They were people known by many, people who had walked among us. Their stories served as a reminder that even the most familiar faces can face a terrible fate if they stray too far from the right path. The first soul was a wealthy businessman. He was admired for his success, but deep down, greed had consumed him. He built his fortune by taking advantage of the poor, showing no mercy or kindness. On the day he died, he thought he would pass peacefully. Instead, as his soul left his body, shadows came for him, whispering about all the lives he had ruined and all the chances he had stolen. His cries were drowned out as the gates of hell opened, pulling him in. Once inside, he was forced to count coins that turned into burning embers in his hands, a never-ending torment. The second was a politician, well-known and powerful. He had lied and deceived his way to the top, making empty promises and leading people astray. When he died, he thought the good he'd done would outweigh the bad. But as his spirit left him, a cold wind dragged him down a narrow, fiery path. He tried to talk his way out of it, but his smooth words failed. Demons mocked him for his deceit chaining him to a pit where he would forever hear the cries of those he had betrayed. Then came a woman who was admired by many for her beauty and charm. She spent her life leading others into sin, using her looks to tempt people and destroy relationships. When she died, she saw the faces of those she had hurt. Her beauty melted away, and her body was pulled into a river of flames. There, she was surrounded by other lost souls, all reaching for her, desperate for help. But there was no escape. She would stay there forever, haunted by the damage she had caused to others' lives. The fourth soul was a priest. He was respected and loved by his parish, but behind closed doors, he lived a double life. He had betrayed the trust of the very people who had turned to him for guidance. When he died, he expected to be welcomed into heaven. Instead, he felt a weight pulling him down into hell. As he descended, the faces of the innocent children he had harmed stared at him with cold, accusing eyes. He was thrown into a dark pit, where the screams of the innocent would forever echo in his ears. The fifth was a famous artist, loved for his talent. But he had been consumed by pride, always seeking to glorify himself rather than giving thanks to God for his gifts. When he died, he found himself surrounded by mirrors, 
each one reflecting his work but in twisted, mocking forms. His once skilled hands were now bound by chains, and as the flames rose around him, he realized that his pride had become his prison, and that there was no escape from the vanity that now tormented him. The sixth soul was a mother. She had abandoned her family, choosing a life of luxury and pleasure over love and responsibility. When she died, she found herself in a cold, empty wasteland. She cried for her children, but her calls were met with silence. She wandered the wasteland, forever searching for the family she had forsaken, but never finding them. Her punishment was to feel the emptiness she had caused in the hearts of her children for all eternity. The seventh was a soldier. He had fought bravely, but he had taken pleasure in violence and cruelty. He showed no regret for the pain he had caused. When he died, demons quickly came for him, dragging him to a battlefield in hell, where the fighting never ended. He was forced to relive every moment of violence, feeling the pain of his victims as if it were his own. His punishment was to endlessly suffer the consequences of his cruelty. Finally, the eighth soul was a woman who had spent her life gossiping and spreading lies. Her words had torn apart friendships and ruined people's lives. When she died, she found herself in a place where every lie she had ever spoken took on a life of its own. She was surrounded by twisted, distorted versions of the truth, each one lashing out at her with sharp, biting tongues. She was trapped in a storm of her own making, with no escape from the lies that had once brought her so much satisfaction. As Our Lady finished her story, her eyes were filled with sorrow. These eight souls had lived among us, unnoticed for their sins until it was too late. They had made their choices, and now they would face the consequences forever. It was a powerful reminder that hell waits for no one, and even those who seem safe and secure can fall into its grasp if they don't turn away from their sins. If you live a life filled with greed, lies, or harm to others without any thought of remorse, you're walking down a dark road. No amount of fame, success, or comfort in this world can save you if your soul is weighed down by sin. If you ignore the chance to turn back to God, to ask for forgiveness, and to live a life of kindness and compassion, you are choosing a fate that will follow you after death. Hell is real, and the choices you make today determine whether you will face its gates tomorrow. We're grateful you stayed with us until the end of our video. My dear brothers and sisters, let's move forward without fear and with even stronger faith than before. Let's keep holding on to our faith. May you stay blessed and keep praying for God to shower us all with his grace and blessings. May God bless and protect us all. Amen.